right, so as I said in the last video, we were going racing, and here we are. We are at NCM. We are ready for the third event of Boulder Wars, another points event. I'm going to miss the next event, which puts me out of uh, Border Wars, which is fine, but we are definitely still in the running for Tennessee region points. So now we are going up here, we are going to park. The track is, I thought it was long, but it's really not that long. It's really interesting is the best word I'm gonna use for it. You guys will be able to see that once we get out here. It's got two double gates through it. So you have two spots, you actually come back to the same spot. You just come in at a different direction. So we are gonna get the car all ready to go. We've got the tires aired up, over inflated, so I've gotta bring them down now that they're warming up. And then we're going to rock and roll. So let's go get it. All right, so y'all will see what I'm talking about once we get out here. But I've watched a few people run, and I think when we go to the split, that I need to choose the right-hand side the first time. I've watched a lot of the fast people are coming around that loop and coming back through the double gate, but going to the right first. That way they have more of a straight. So that is my plan of attack. We're gonna at least attempt it and see what happens. So let's go make something happen. some PSI, maybe a pound or two, I don't know. Maybe I just needed the heat. I'm gonna leave them alone, check on, make sure I've got the same. But yeah, that was a little squirrely. But I will say coming to the right-hand side, that was definitely needed. Definitely needed there because as you saw when I crept over, the car wanted to go that way anyways based on how the body weight was fluctuating. But that back half, I come in way too hot, sweeped it out way too far. Then I come through the slalom and went on the wrong side because I turned and the car didn't turn. So let's check on some tire pressures and uh, calm down and hit round two. All right, so for some reason, the front camera decided it didn't want to work today. So you guys actually didn't even get to see that DNF, which is okay because quite frankly, it was a DNF, but now you guys will actually get to see what this track looks like. I know hanging out in here with me doesn't really uh, give you a good perspective of what we've got going on, but it is a wild track. It was obviously very slippery. So now we're just gonna go in and try to at least get through without a DNF. That's a, that's a first goal, right? I mean, there's no DNF. Get something on the board. take that 42 3 that's acceptable in my head 
definitely, definitely have to do a lot of shifting though. I mean, we're all over third, second, third, second. And I don't necessarily want to just ride the rev limiter because there's a few more mile an hour there to grab, but goodness, it's a lot to keep up with. A 42.3, I'll take that, that's a decent start. Now we just gotta go see where it lands me with everybody else. All right, so that put us in second place, I just found out. And of course, it's gonna change. Everybody's getting faster. I obviously got a clean run there. So now we're on to round three, and I'm just gonna try my best to try to get these gear selections down and try to clean that up a little bit and try to get some more time out of it and definitely get that back slalom. through it it gets tighter and tighter but 41.5 i have no idea where that puts us that was a really firm quick run so now all i gotta do is try to just keep that and try to perfect it just a little bit more get a little bit smoother through that slalom don't have so much tire squealing but everywhere else was smooth everywhere else was smooth so now all we gotta do is just like i said we gotta be consistent with no cones consistent and fast We've got to get a little bit more speed and a little bit more smoothness out of it so we'll see how that landed us 40, all right guys so i just found out that the 41 and a half although it is quick it is not the quickest so 41 3 is the time to beat right now so we really got to make something happen something going on with the organization right now that first place in each run group gets a hundred dollar bill today so i have to keep that first place so as of right now i believe we are in first place we'll see how he did i hope i stack up for that because we also have some rain coming in that could potentially knock us out and uh, slow everybody down um, which i hope does not happen because that is not what competition is called uh, so I want, I want the sun to stay shining, but as of right now, I do believe we are in first place with a hundred dollar bill coming our way. I'll check back in with you guys after I work. All right. So this is now the second session. We're only getting three runs for this session, but I will say sun has now went away. 
So the pad is getting a little colder. Not a big fan of that. Um, but I am also in second. So when I had my best run, so did the guy that was in first place. He had his best run. So he is now an entire half second faster than I am. And I have no earthly idea where I'm going to grab that out of. So probably not going to win the pot today. Um, oh, I shouldn't say that. Who knows? I might go out here and have a miracle, right? Let's shoot for it. That's what I'm going to shoot for. I'm going to have a miracle just magic happen and I'm going to just kill it. That's what I'm going for. Let's go get it. on these new tires i don't know i guess i'm gonna leave like now they're hot right so i'm gonna leave them down a little bit lower maybe a pound or two see if they like it and if not they're gonna heat up and go right back to where they are now right so we'll be all right but yeah that 41 one so okay now on to the next uh two and then we're done got two more chances to get to him and i don't know if it's gonna happen all right, so my increment of uh, progression was the exact increment of progression for the guy in first. So we are still in second. So now we really have to make something happen because we only have two more runs. there wasn't it 40.4 dang <laughs> we got one more run 40.4 holy crap that was fast 40.4 let's go i don't know where that puts us i don't even want to find out where that puts us i just want to see if i can beat myself now uh i was in second and then top after your last run, and then I don't know what the other guys ran. Oh, so I was in top? I was trying to hold after the your top. last run, you were top. But I don't know. There's like three camps. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. That was a 40.4 was my last run. That was a strong run. I didn't expect to get it.
40.3. Oh, I really, really hope that that was enough to get past this. I hope this was first place because I could use it for the Tennessee region points even though I'm not going to make the border wars and I'm not going to finish the border wars out. Dang. 40.3. <laughs> oh, I love this car. I love this car. That's all I have to say is I love this car. So now we are going to put the car up. Then we are going to go to awards and we are going to see if we had it. Maybe we didn't. Hopefully we did. But from there, I will check back in with you guys. I promise I will check back in. I'm not going to wait and forget. I'm going to check back in with you guys. But we will see you guys later on. Guys, I want to take a second. I said I'd be right back. But literally as I hit the button, the guy I was competing with come over here and talked to me. He congratulated me. He told me that it was awesome. I told him I hated his second to last run. He did a whole 360 eight up time. Because guess what? That's truthful. I did not like the fact that he did not get all of his runs in like I did. He missed up one time, one little hiccup, got him out. To me, I want you to make a clean run with me. I want you to truly compete with me, and I want to compete with you. But his last run, he did even better. He come back through, but he did in fact just tell me that I made first. But the thing is, he didn't get mad at me. I didn't get mad. I didn't get some smart butt to him. It's called being a good sport. This is what it is. This is a fun, fun time with a great group of guys. I love every guy that we race with. I've never met a bad soul out here that was like, you know what, the heck with you and your car because you're 0.1 faster than me. No, all these guys, racing is just an awesome scene. I mean, racing is genuinely an awesome scene. And if you're ever looking for a buddy, go to a racetrack and you will find a great guy that you can trust. That's all I have to say, because that right there, he didn't have to come over here. He didn't have to come talk to me. He could have threw his truck, his truck in drive. He could have took off, said the heck with that guy. I'm going to come back for him. But instead, he come over and congratulated me. That is called being a good race car guy. I mean, I don't know. Be that guy. Always be that, be that guy, be that girl. Cut up joke around about winning and losing and being faster and hope they're slow but be a good sport always 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 be a good freaking sport because these guys out here are working just as hard as you are i just can't believe i won first that means we also got our first monetary amount winnings sure it's a hundred bucks right but heck we still won our first monetary thing that's a milestone we're making it. We're making it day by day, inch by inch. We're getting bigger. We're getting stronger as a truck. We're getting faster as a car. I mean, heck, we're still running the factory brakes on the rear. I still haven't even put the Hawk system on that they sponsor me for. But yeah, so there's no point in even wasting time. I got first. Um, no, I'm not even going to catch back up with you guys later on. We're just going to end this here, but always be a good sport when you're out here at the racetrack. Always be friendly to the guys you race with. Understand you all have the same goal. You all are working the same strength, same heart. Just y'all all have a lot more in common than, oh, you drive a Mustang and you drive a Miata. No, you guys are the same guy. You, you guys have the same goal, and that's to have fun, drive safe, get home in one piece. But we won, guys. We got first. So... I'm going to catch up with you guys in the next video, I guess, when we get back into the trailer. Because we got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. So, see you guys then. Always be kind to your fellow racer.